we are going to kick off this week's episode by watching the demolding of hole five. And this is exciting because we weren't here for the demolding of holes one, two, three, or four. Good timing this morning. They started as we got in. So stay watching, see how they do it. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Okay, where are we, Mike? We're actually inside the mould. This is hole five, which we just infused only recently. And you can see we've stripped all of the consumables off. So it's bare empty in a laminate now. Everything's joined together. And you can just see actually behind you, Teresa, you've got the structural grids going in. So you can just see the perimeter here. We've got the Bostic uh, adhesive that we've put this in. So that forms all of the structure for the cockpit base so it so it's gives it a bit of stiffness below the cockpit okay. and then the same forward as well. We'll then be putting in all of the structural grids inside the hull but we're getting pretty close to demolding this hull. So this is number five and then we've got obviously four through to one out on the shop floor. Awesome. Okay, so I think that we can see straight away one of the massive advantages of this factory. It's so massive and you've got these big cranes behind me that you can see that really allows them to do these processes like demolding the holes really quickly and really simply because they literally just put the crane overhead, lift the hole out of the mold and you're done. It's over in a flash. And the first step to demolding the holes is to remove the side molds. Now you may recall from earlier episodes that Seawind made the hull and separate parts for easier demolding. So everything that is bolted together, it's slowly unbolted. There are some crazy cracking sounds as this all opens up. But again, it's all pretty smooth and you get to see literally the birth of this boat as it all comes out of the mold. So again, very, very exciting. Still a little bit nail biting for me because I'm not used to this, but that is the first look you are gonna see of the new boat. That is literally the first time it is cracked out of the mold and no one has seen this yet. So quite nice and for the owners of hull five or six that this is congratulations you have a beautiful bouncing baby boat what they're doing they've already taken the size of the molds off they did that this morning and now they are just getting everything in place so that they can actually lift the hull out of the mold and place it on the stands which these things here very exciting and so finally we get to see the hulls being taken out of the molds it is absolutely great to be able to see this with our own eyes although i'm not going to lie to you it is absolutely terrifying to also see such a large 45 foot catamaran swinging above my head and the heads of the workers but as you can see everything went super smoothly they are super professional and now that we're on to hull i think this is six everything is working like clockwork so very gently the boat is rested on its dedicated stands another 1370 is born So now we have five holes in a row, all uh, lined up, ready to continue the build process. And behind me, we have an empty hole mold. And at some point, probably fairly soon, they will start laying down and infusing hole number six. What's going on, mate? So this is the second bay in the new factory. Walk with me, because there's a lot to show you. This, the hard top for hole number two. This is ours. So holes one through six, I believe, are carbon. Something that I think the camera will pick up on. Now that this has been exposed and there's no non-stick here, this very tasteful grey. It's the two-tone. I think that talking to Mike, they did a lot of work in making sure that the grey wasn't so dark that it would absorb heat. So anyway, hard top number two. Over here. This is the outer part for where the windows are going to go. So again, this is all cast in grey here is that going yeah. to be glass so we're looking at the back face of the inside liner okay the external face is actually a molding that was just down on the ground oh, there yeah. so so this is actually quite a it's fairly light yeah but it's got the gel coat surface on the inside I to see. give us a nice finished inside yeah these are the constituent parts for the hard top for our boat so hard top two window wraparound two moving forward they've obviously completed now three 
and four. Because of the issues with the deck, they have just spent the time making hardtops. So we've now got hardtops of four. Interestingly, and this is the important thing, they have now managed to finally get the deck mold absolutely perfect. And rather than baking in problems into further infusions, they have taken the time. And it took about six to eight weeks, I think, to get this perfect. And now they're bagging up. So the fact that they're bagging means that they're happy. And having talked to Danny extensively about this, he is like, no, I'm not accepting that. So the quality control that they have done after the mold was delivered from the other company means that they are now able to get on. And you will find that over the next two or three weeks, decks two, three, four, five coming out, like popping out like gremlins after midnight. We were here a week ago and that has barely begun. Yes. So yeah, so the bagging's all been done. Oh, wait, everything's in place. All the carbon fiber's in place. Everything's in place. By this time next week, I think that should probably all be infused. So super exciting. So over there, the musical sing-song noise is the warning with the crane. And they have literally just demolded hole five. So honestly, there is a whole, whole heap of stuff going on here. We've now got five holes. We've got two decks. Within a month, we'll have four decks. We've got all the coach rooms, and now it is just going to be assembly. So I can really see the end of this period of a little bit of stagnation because they moved factory, because they had to fix problems from the fact that the other company that made that deck mold just made a bollocks of it. So there we go. And this is our deck. This is the stage of the deck build that we are at we haven't yet got to infusion so what they are doing is they are literally putting down the tie layer is down the gel coat is down and then what they're going to do is they're going to infuse the deck with the resin it is all done through vacuum infusion and we do obviously have an episode that we've already put out showing vacuum infusion but then with everything bagged up air is drawn out resin is drawn through and that process about 45 minutes later you have a fully infused deck for hull 2 also to be known as ruby rose 2. behind me and it's easier i think to see with the coat roof on the ground you can actually really sorry <laughs> our lavelle mics ran out of battery so we're using our fluffy mic you can see here but it picks up all the background noise i hope that i can get rid of some of it in post but anyway you can see with the coach roof here it's easier to see here that these channels so down here and then down here form part of the rain catchment system the coach roof kind of slopes down from the midpoint all that rain once it's raining i mean there's a huge surface area will flow forward into these channels here and then it will come down here this is where the mast will sit and then in the base, you can't see it because it's just the mould, but part of the deck mould has these kind of channels in it. First of all, once it starts raining, then you need to clean the deck, make sure that there's no dust or debris or leaves or anything. So you clean it all out in the rain. You open it once you're happy with the cleanliness of the water. There's a valve where the base of the mast sits and that will allow the rainwater to go directly into your tank. That was something that when we first sat down with Sea Wind, like many, many, many moons ago, three years ago now, it was one of our many suggestions for the 1370. They kind of, you know, were very open to any input at that stage and we had a lot of ideas and that was one of our kind of things on our wish list. We said to them, a rain catchment system built into the coach roof is super handy. In these tropical downpours, it just lets you fill up your tank in half an hour. Really pleased that they took that on board as well as many other of our suggestions. That is a really simple, elegant way of keeping your tanks full. So I really hope you enjoyed that episode so much to see as we walk around Saigon shipyard and we are getting closer to seeing this boat moves straight from external fit out to internal fit out. So super, super exciting. Hope you enjoyed that. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below and I will see you all next week for another episode. Take care, goodbye.